I'm working out just now, all right? And I guess this uh, inbox message. Uh, my mother was a Muslim. Oh, was she really? What's she got to do with um, the world situation at the moment, darling? What are you say about my mum? And I think, what? I said, uh, read what I just said to you again. What's that got to do with the world situation? Because obviously, by telling me my mum's a Muslim, she's trying to tell me that maybe I shouldn't have the opinions I've got. And I've noticed there's a pattern to this, you know. Every time there's a world atrocity, and I'll make a video about it, it's all shh. No, it says nothing. Don't get no, you fat cunt. I don't get, yeah, you look like Phil Mitchell, none of that. But a few days down the line, five, six, seven days down the line, I don't know, these morons think we forgot about it, do they? I'll get these comments. I don't get them sort of straight on the, on the day. But these comments come in, these, I don't know. So what do they think? That scumbag that mowed them people down in Nice, it don't matter anymore because it was a week ago, yeah? Them evil bastards and the Backland Theatre who cut their victims' balls off and stuck them in their mouth and stabbed the female in their genitalia. Hello, Matt, because that was a month ago, yeah? That's all right, it's a few months back, so it don't matter now. Well, let me tell you something. I get asked at demonstrations why I don't do a video based on how I do a talk at a demonstration with a few facts and figures. So I thought, yeah, that's a good idea. And I'd like to thank that EDL member for that idea. For an example, when I'm on a demonstration, I quote the Quran, which I don't do when I'm doing my videos. So here goes. The reason I'm going to do this is to point out these acts of terror, they're not just random down by the man or the person, individual people that have chose to do this. They are being encouraged by the teachings of Muhammad, their perfect, their perfect man, and by the word of Allah. The word of Allah will not go away all the time Islam exists. Quran 2.191, it's probably verse 191, slay the unbelievers wherever you find them. This gives them the opportunity and the okay to go into schools and kill school children, into hospitals and kill cripples and disabled and sick people because that says quite clearly to slay the unbelievers wherever you find them I repeat Quran 2.191 Quran 3.28 states Muslims must not take infidels as friends so you stupid lefties you morons who think that we're racist and that you're sticking by your friends, it's the tikkia. You're being fucked over, right? You moron. They're not allowed to have you as friends. They can only pretend to have you as friends to push Islam, to enhance Islam in the West. Oh, yeah, you're my mate. I couldn't be that two-faced myself, but, yeah, you're my pal, Brian. George, you're my pal. Am I really, Abdul? Yeah. Oh, yeah, mate. <laughs> Look at my sincere face. You're really my pal. Well, Muhammad and Allah and the Quran teaches them not to be your friend. All right? Quran 3.85. Any religion other than Islam is not acceptable. And I 100%, if they're a Muslim... And they pray five times a day and they got a beard. They believe that. We're not to be tolerated. Us Kafir non-believers. In Quran 8. 12. Quran 8.12. Terrorize and behead those who believe in the scriptures other than the Quran. So all Jews, Hindus, Buddhists, Sikhs, Jehovah's Witnesses, the whole lot, terrorise 
and behead those who believe in scriptures other than the Quran. Now this is the religion of peace, is it? It's in their fucking Quran. Don't take my word for it, go and have a look. I'm just quoting you the scriptures. For you to go and find out for yourself that these people that you back, these people that you think that we are racist because we object to them, we object to them because we have found out how much they object to us and it's in their fucking holy book. That time some of you wised up. That some of you smelt a coffee and realise really, really, really what is going on because they are taking over one borough at a time. Like they said in the Warriors, they're taking over one borough at a time. East London's gone, Luton's gone and so many other places have already gone. And they won't stop until... They've taken over completely. They're going to outbreed us in the next 15, 20 years anyway. Let alone all the refugees that you won't welcome here. And just remember, right, this is how they've repaid Germany. In Duisburg, the Muslim migrants marched through there, chanting, with Allah's help, we will conquer you. That was directly in the face of the Germans who had been holding up their banners going, refugees are welcome here. Quran 9, 1, 2, 3. Make war on the infidels living in your neighbourhood. Another very friendly scripture from our book of love. Eh? Another fucking absolute wonderful, heartwarming, don't it make you fucking feel good, scripture. Make war on the infidels living in your neighbourhood. That's Quran 9, 1, 2, 3. Another absolutely uplifting, makes you feel right good for a Friday to look forward to the weekend when you're going around having breakfast with Abdul tomorrow. Yeah, I bet you won't be having bacon, yeah? And all this racist shit. Let me just make this clear once to you, once again, you fucking dumb shit cunts out there. Racism. Muslim men are allowed to marry Christian women. But their women will get stoned to death if they even think about being with a Christian man. Yeah? So who's racist? Us or them? We might not like it if our sisters are going out with one of them. We might go, hey, hey babe, can't you find yourself a decent geezer? But we ain't going to take her outside and put her in a pit and stone her to death, are we? Yeah? No, we ain't. We're not going to throw acid in their face, are we? No. Doesn't happen in our society. But they... Call on this racist card. You can't go near one of their women. But they're all over ours. And they're not raping their, their women in the streets. They're raping ours. That's what they've been sent here for. Did you see the, um, the arms that were captured in Greece recently? Container loads full. Being sent to them as furniture. Why do they want automatic weapons? And millions of rounds of ammunition, the religion of peace. It is really time that some of you smelt the coffee and realise what's going on, because we will all be called to arms ourselves. Let me tell you, it won't be long before it kicks off. Here's another little, nice little um, scripture from the Quran. Oh, I do like this one. Quran 9.30. The Jews and Christians are perverts. Fight them. The Jews and Christians are perverts, says a man who married a six-year-old woman. Girl, Aisha was six when she married him. And when they start to deny that to you, they say, that's not in the Quran. No, it ain't, mate. It's in the Hadiths. The Hadiths are um, a description of Muhammad's life. They're a log of Muhammad's life. And let's get this one thing straight. I didn't sit there writing it, John. No. And my mate Harry next door, he didn't sit right in the fucking Hadiths even though they're part of their holy scriptures. Aisha's own words are in these Hadiths to describe her time with um, Muhammad. They call, she called him the prophet. Now don't take my word for it. Suhi, that's S-U-H-I-A, Bakari, B-U-K-H-A-R-I, seven... Double dot 62, double dot 64. Nice little verse there for you. Again, the same thing. Sahid Bakari, 
7, 62, 65. So you've got 7, 62, 64, 7, 62, 65, and then 7, 62, 88. These are all Aisha's words about her marriage and having sex with the prophet, Muhammad. And she stayed with him for nine years later until he died. All right? So she was 18 when he died. Oh, nine years. Nine years having it with him. Hey, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. But it's there in their hadiths. Yeah. I will read that again. Quran 9.30 said, the Jews and Christians are perverts. So what's that then? What makes that? What does that make him? Hey? Jimmy Savile used to walk down the street, right, with a lardy die on his gob, right, now then, now then, guys and girls, as it happens, as it happens. Turk white suit on, right, bleach blonde there. Is that what you look for when you're looking for another wrong one? No. They walk around these days wearing pyjamas and sandals with a great big beard. Unfortunately, because they all agree with marrying a six-year-old, they're allowed, I've watched loads and loads of videos, they're in mums, they're allowed to marry a child as it's born, basically. They can have the marriage there and then if they want, if the fathers agree to it, as long as the fathers agree to it, someone gives a few quid and the father agrees to it. Hey, where's the mentality in that? Where's the fucking mentality in that? Quran 22, 19 is another nice passage. Punish the unbelievers with garments of fire, hooded iron rods, boiling water, melt their skin and bellies. This is another absolutely heartwarming, uplifting scripture from the Book of Peace. The religion of love. Now, I made these things up. They're in there. There's 109 verses of violence against Kafir, the non-believer, that's us. And let's get it right. Kafir, roughly translated being the unbeliever, also means dogs and people not fit to live. All right. And I want to say one other thing to you. They do not discriminate between you on the left and us on the right. I'm not even right wing, I've been told. I'm quite middle of the road. My opinions. <laughs> right. They do not discriminate you. That geezer in the, in the uh, lorry the other day in Nice, he did not drive along, saying, are you on the left? Get out of the way, then. You're left, you Get out of the way, and I'm going to mow you down. No, he just went wallop straight through. He couldn't give a monkey's if they for them were Muslims either. They're all psycho. They're not right. They're inbred. They're all psychopathic. Nutcases, right? And it doesn't mean that, that just because some of them are all right that we got to tolerate the ones that ain't. No, it don't work that way. When was the last time the Christians went on crusades, eh? And the Christians get the blame for all the violence that started all off. No, the Crusades started years and years and years, like 433 years after they started doing the taking Europe apart. I've got all the bloody facts and figures of that, and I'm too upset at the moment in time, excited to fucking bother looking for them. But I tell these things when I go on demonstrations. I look up all the facts and I look up the figures. I don't talk through my ass. I don't make it up as I go along because... You can't beat the truth. You can't beat facts. And I don't talk shit. And anyway, you dickheads who think you can inbox me seven days after an atrocity think it's all right because it's past, it's all forgotten, is it? Don't say nothing about Islam because it's a wonderful religion of peace. And if you do, Pete, I'm going to go and fucking rape your sister. Very peaceful, Abdul. Very fucking peaceful indeed, mate. All right. <laughs>